looks astounding Time is fleeting Madness takes its toll But listen closely Not for very much longer I've got to keep control Good day to your travellers. I thought I'd do a series of clips about 5D and what it means to us and our world. There's a lot of talk about 5D lately, the fifth dimension, moving into the fifth dimension, because it seems like Starship Earth and her crew are about to go into uh, the fifth dimension from the one we're presently in. And um, as we know in uh, Star Trek, uh, when they go into warp drive, time functions differently when you're in that state. There's a lot of confusion evident about dimensions. When you look around the internet, people talking about the move into 5D. Uh, a lot of people have got a few things muddled with it, so I thought I'd make this little clip and clarify it once and for all very plainly. It's not that hard to understand once you get the hang of it. Uh, why is the confusion around? I think it's largely because of the school system. When I did geometry at school, we learned about the first and second dimension and the zero dimension of a point, but we were told that this was uh, a... Um, they didn't really exist, these dimensions. They were just a convenience for teaching us mathematics. And at school, they also told us that we live in a three-dimensional world. Well, this was for convenience. It wasn't a plot or anything. It's because the objects and ourselves and things in the world around us look three-dimensional, we, for convenience, call them three-dimensional. But really, because we live in a three-dimensional world moving through time, we're presently in a fourth-dimensional world. Consider this too about the zero, first and second dimension that our school teachers said were didn't really exist, they were just a concept to help us in maths. Well in fact the zero dimension does exist. Uh, a black hole is a singularity, it has no measurable dimension, it uh, exists in zero D, yet it's a very real and the most powerful force in the universe that we know. So if zero dimension turns out does in fact exist and can be a very powerful place, uh, why would we assume that the first and the second dimension don't have a real existence? In fact, um, many people call the second dimension a place the astral plane, but we may get onto that later. It's not really on the topic here. Well, let's look at these dimensions. We'll start with the naught dimension, the zero dimension. It's just a, a point. It's fixed. It can't move. It's stuck. And uh, it has no, no, no width, no height, no depth. It's just a fixed point in time. That's zero dimension. There's no measurable dimension in it. Then we go to 1D. 1D is like a point that can move just in back and forward in one direction and if we have a inverted commas enlarged look at it we can see that there's one measurable dimension in 1D but uh, it's it's a line but the line has no thickness so there's only one measurable dimension in 1D then we go to 2D where we add a, uh, another physical dimension on and we can move in two directions in 2D it could be likened to a sort of sheet of flat paper world or something in 2D we can have a circle, a triangle, a square, a flat kind of objects like that that uh, can be measured in two directions but have no depth in the third dimension. 3D of course, you know a lot of this stuff already. 3D is where we add a, have a third physical dimension, an X, Y and a Z axis we use in geometry and in 3D we have what we call solid objects with volume like a sphere, a pyramid, a cube um, and it's uh, the world around us looks 3D so now let's have a look at 4D and see why we're actually in a four-dimensional world now not a 3D one in the fourth dimension we have the three physical dimensions 
but we have a fourth dimension of time. Now in 4D in our world, time seems to be fixed and it moves in a single direction. It's locked in, it, we can't go backwards in time or forwards in time, sideways in time, we can't speed time up or slow it down generally, except in a few uh, atom splitting machines perhaps, but um, as far as our, our world goes that we exist in, time is a fixed quantity that we just have to deal with the best way we can. And in 5D, the, this is where the, the difference comes. If you look at the, the timeline down there in the 4D diagram, time is fixed. Whereas in 5D, time gets an extra dimension added onto it. So now we've got three physical dimensions and two time dimensions. And whereas time's fixed in 4D, in 5D we can move back and forward in time. Uh, we can go back to the past, into the future, or anywhere in between. And that is what 5D implies. Now, let's have a look at a comparison of 0D to 1D. Just as in 0D space is, is fixed and stuck, immovable in a sense, and compared to 1D where suddenly you've got movement, a dimension of movement you don't have in 0D. And likewise, from 4D to 5D, it's a, a similar thing. In 4D we're stuck in time, but in 5D we'll be able to move back and forward through time just as easily as we can move back and forward through a room in 4D. The following videos I'll talk some more about uh, how it's going to feel as we approach 5D. Uh, things are going to change inside us and around us, but uh, the good news is don't panic. You're not going mad. Everything's going to be fine. Uh, we'll also talk about some of the earth changes that will be coming along, and uh, once we get through the important stuff, we might talk a bit about what aliens have got to do with the approaching 5D uh, time things like that because it's all part of the big picture. So in 5D things are going to be very different to in 4D. In 4D we're sort of locked or hidden away in a fraction of time somewhere whereas in 5D we'll be a lot more opened up. It's like moving out of a dark cubby hole out into the bright sunlight of a beautiful forest with a stream. Uh, moving into 5D has several implications for us. I'll give you one example of what we'll be talking about in future clips. Is Consider this. Uh, many years ago in the 80s I did a little bit of a meditation on time. I was reading a lot of astrophysics at that, that time and I thought for a, I did a little exercise for a few weeks and considered if if we remove time out of the picture, is it possible to still have anything to worry about? And I was uh, feeling pressure from um, finances, relationships, uh, all that kind of thing, and uh, had worries in my life. And I, I thought about each of the worries I had, the things that bothered me, and I thought if you take time out of the equation, like dying for instance, well, dying is where you get to a point in time, fixed time, where you, you leave this dimension. Whereas if time isn't fixed any longer, uh, dying ceases to be an issue, as does mortgage repayments, because they're all fixed into time. Every month you have to come up with the money. Whereas in a, a more flexible time where we can move through time, once again, uh, if, you th if you have a good think about it, think of any problem you've got and remove time from the picture and you'll find that the problem just vanishes, evaporates into thin air. So 5D will be a much happier place to live in than 4D has been, and I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this vid, uh, have a look at the next ones, and um, love and light to you all in these interesting times we live in.